Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the last week of the month. All right. I was asking for general readings more or less from the universe, but it seems like a lot of them are coming up love, but we'll see what comes up. Like I always say, I'll read them how I see them. Okay, so Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. All right. All right, there it is. I can feel it. All right. <clears throat> okay, you have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Oh, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Ten of Cups. The Hermit. Ooh, the Four of Wands. Nice energy, you guys. Okay, so some of you may feel trapped right now. You also have the Five of Cups under the deck, which is kind of going around the uh, uh, different signs, I noticed. So don't worry if you're feeling a little bit like things aren't working out. Let me, put, let me pull this deck out. So you may just feel like maybe things aren't picking up or working out in a specific area of your life. It might be love, definitely. You have the Nine of Cups, so crowning you. So I feel like there is something going to show up or come in that is going to be a wish fulfilled, making you happy. So I'm assuming right now, if you're watching this, you might feel like the hermit. Could be you're waiting for someone, also this energy. All right, let's get going here. So again... Universal energies, what does Sagittarius need to know about the Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords. That's not it. Hang on. All right. Yeah, you're feeling out in the cold. So, I mean, this can be in love. Maybe you're waiting for someone, like I mentioned. Maybe you're waiting for some money to come in. Um, what is the Nine of Cups? This is obviously a good sign. Oh, I pulled two, so I have to watch them. I mean, I have to show you. I pulled two and I see them, and I click. This makes sense, too. Whenever I do that, I know that it's meant to be. I'm meant to have both cards. So Ten of Swords, you are feeling very defeated. But look at Nine of Cups, something is going to come in. Something is going to make you happy, a wish fulfilled. It could be something small or big. I don't know yet, but that means you are going to change direction. Instead of laying on the ground, feeling stabbed in the back and defeated, you are now going to be moving to something better, somewhere better. What is the Ten of Cups, please? Yeah, broken hearted. Yeah, you guys are really not feeling very good right now. I'm sorry. Um, so you're feeling down. So in other words, the reason they gave you the Six of Swords is like, we see this energy here is where, how you're feeling. You th Maybe you thought you were even going in a better direction. Maybe you thought things were getting better. But you have the Three of Swords. So this does look like maybe a heartbreak in your relationship with someone. What is a Hermit. Hermit. Knight of Coins. So you might be dealing with an Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, again, Knight of Coin, he doesn't move very fast. Sometimes he's not really moving at all in some of this, the deck. So maybe things are very stalled, like things aren't moving forward. Again, it might have some, a money issue. So what is the Four of Wands? What is the Four of Wands for Sagittarius? Okay, Three of Wands. So something is coming in. So even though you're feeling lousy, you have this beautiful Ten of Cups here being very happy. Um, now, this may be an ending. For some of you, the Ten of Cups to me can mean an ending of a relationship, a home, you're moving. Something has ended, obviously, Ten. But Four of Wands is a new beginning. And I do read that as also, um, you know, a new home, moving, moving to an apartment, a home, a condo. Uh, it can also be a party because that technically, I believe, that's what they're doing, having a party. So you may be going to something, and that may, for a few of you, have something to do with it, a get-together, a party coming in, because that's where the Three of Wands is showing up. So let's see the Three of Wands, Three of Wands, Three of Wands. And let's see if we can get a few more specific details, because, again, this is kind of general. So Three of Wands, please. The Ten of Cups. All right, so you are going to be happy. What is after the Five of Coin? High Priestess. So again, I read her as intuition. I'm a Scorpio. I have good intuition. As you can tell, I can feel things. I can feel energy. So I know a lot of you feel that she's more about secrets. Um, you know, maybe it's just time right now to just listen and watch as, as opposed to doing anything. Same with the Hermit energy. Things aren't moving forward. So this week, though, looks like something's going to come in with the Six of Swords and Nine of Cups. But six of six of cups, all right. Chariot. Chariot's a nice fast moving energy. 
So there could be someone from the past helping you out, something from the past, a person who may be wanting to give you some helps, some help, some love. Nine of Wands, you're burnt out with that energy. What is the Nine of Wands universe? Page of Cups, yeah. So you are waiting. You are hoping for something. You are feeling like you can't move for some reason. Things aren't going your way. And then I do see... Um, like either someone comes to help you or someone invites you to go somewhere. Some of you may get invited to go somewhere. Like maybe maybe just home. Maybe over to a friend's house. Maybe to a party. Maybe to some type of gathering. This might be a good time, even if you're not feeling up to it, to do it. Because that may be something that could be very helpful. A person you may run into someone there. You have the Page of Cups. Because I do see you feeling broken hearted. Nine of Wands. You know, not really wanting to do anything. Page of Cups. All of a sudden a message or meeting someone. Um, it could be running into an old friend, an old love, um, someone who maybe there is possibly chemistry with or spark. Let me cut one more card on the Knight of Coin. So this might be more about, oh, I pulled, a two, I pulled two again. Seven of Coin and Moon. So this tells me right here, this could be a situation or a person that maybe you have known for a while, but you've never thought anything about them. Because the moon can be secrets. It can be in the unknown. Sometimes when I see it in a reading like this, it means things you don't know about. Um, like almost like the universe, the cards aren't going to tell you. But it could be something that you, you know, there was a person that you talked to a while ago. You would go to the bank and every time you saw her at the bank, you would talk to her. Or you saw him, you know, at school, you guys got to know each other. But it was over, it was done. This is someone I feel like you really have no connection with. You don't expect this person to pop, pop back into your life. Um, that's where, like a Six of Cups, it doesn't have to be, you know, like an ex-lover or something along that line. It could just be someone you knew. I feel with the energy with your reading, again, this is something that's going to kind of change things for you. It's going to make you happy with the Nine of Cups. It may not be necessarily a wish fulfilled. But I feel like it's going to lead to something else. So for some of you, this is definitely a new love that's coming in. But it's someone you did know. But it's very unexpected. And it's not even... Like there's possibilities with this person. And you had no idea. I'm going to put a couple cards from my other deck to see what else it's saying. All right. Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords. With the Four of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. And the Six of Wands. Yeah. So, Five of Coins next with the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. So, there could have been some new love that didn't work out. Um, this may be someone then that you did know. Maybe there's Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. You did like this person at one point. Maybe you were with this person or you talked, you got to know this person, but then you don't see them anymore. Like you quit a job and you don't see them anymore. Um, you don't bank at that bank, so you don't go in there anymore. Not that anyone goes inside of a bank anymore, but... And then you know what I'm saying? Because you're going from Five of Coin filling out in the cold after this victory. Six of Swords moving in the right direction. So again, this Four of Wands is showing up in the, these cards also. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the Seven of Swords has to do with the Four of Swords. This may be someone you, again, you saw occasionally, maybe had a secret crush on this person. I don't get this as negative energy with the Seven of Swords here. Four of Swords. This is kind of like someone you see, you, you have a crush. You admire them from afar. You don't really let them know. You s used to see them when you would deliver flowers or packages or food. And you kind of would think about this person. You liked them. Um, but Five of Coin means that they aren't in your life. And then now you're moving to something else. And then I think you're going to meet this person. So again, this is kind of specific again. And actually it turned around to be a very nice reading. Um, I think you guys are going to run into someone this weekend, this week, maybe next weekend that you used to know and you used to like, and there may be some chemistry there for the two of you. So again, so anything that you get, you know, an offer to go out with a friend, um, to go do something, especially with like the nine of cups, that can be just drinking, going out, happy hour, that type of thing to me with four of wands also can be a party. Make sure you go Sagittarius. Um, you never know what chance meetings and things that turn around here. Hermit is about staying inside and not really going out. This may be an earth sign. Could be a water sign. Really anything. But all right. I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.